How's it going everybody? You're watching Danable Tech and today I'm going to give you the part 2 of the best features and new changes in iOS 13. If you haven't watched the part 1, I'm going to have the link in the description and I'm going to put a card right there on the top right corner. So let's get started. Now I want to talk about performance because Apple claims that in iOS 13, app launches are up to 2 times faster and Face ID is up to 30% faster. So let's have a look. I don't have another iPhone 10 right here to compare side by side. So I just want to show you real quickly if you can if you can see it so uh, I'm gonna open the phone app and then Safari and then uh, messages and iTunes okay and, and music and as you guys can see it opens very fast it opens very fluid it launches very fast I just love the way it launches uh, it works the exact same way if apps are closed uh, and they have to reload it works the exact same exact same way it is just much much faster and I also and I also want to show you on face ID so let me show you So I believe it's pretty clear that Face ID is much faster. As you guys can see, the padlock doesn't even open and is already unlocked and you're already on your home screen. So Face ID is much, much faster. I just love it. In iOS 13, we have a new user interface for volume and for your silent switch. Let me show you. So if you change your volume, you finally have this new toggle right here on your left. So you don't have that intruding uh, thing in the front, which was terrible. So right, you just adjust your volume and you can just pick it up with your finger if you want so I think this is very very cool so I really like this new feature and same thing with the silent switch if you just uh, put silent mode on or off it's gonna stay right there underneath the notch so it's very very cool because again it's not gonna be intruding right here in front of your screen just like it was 10 years ago when the iPhone was originally launched the next new feature I want to show you is in the music app so if we open the music app and we play a song of course I'm gonna have the song mute because because of copyright problems of course and right now we have live lyrics so if you just type tap on the lyrics we have this nice background with the song with the lyrics uh, showing displaying in a karaoke style and then automatically it's gonna keep like rolling and going and going and going and you don't have to do anything it's so nice if you want to uh, learn a learn a new song learn the lyrics because you don't have to do anything you just read listen and read so this is very very cool in iOS 13 we have a new screenshot UI so if I take a screenshot right here here. Uh, as you guys can see, we have this new user interface with new tools, this new palette right here, which I really, really love. Uh, let me let me remove here. Let me let me go and go to light mode because I think it's going to be better for us to, to see that way. So as you guys can see, we have new tools right there. We have this new uh, ruler tool, tool, which is very nice. Uh, we have new colors right there. So we have many more customization, much more customization. We have we can add text, uh, magnifier, change, put objects and things like that. So it's much better. It looks fresher and it's always nice to have new implementations. Now I want to talk about photos. So if you open the photos app, you can see that the interface is completely different now uh, and we have a few new things let me show you so first of all we have this pinch to zoom and uh, zoom in and out so we can just zoom in and zoom out different photos and, and specific periods of time so years in this situation so if we zoom in again let me just go back to where I was so if I zoom in again so I'm right here as you guys can see on all photos and we have all, all, uh, other ways to do that we have zoom uh, right here at the top as well so we can zoom in and zoom out so we can do that pinching thing with buttons or with your fingers uh, and obviously we also have um, op other options right here at this top little row right there so we have all photos we have days which is nice so we can see what I did today and then yesterday so we have these awesome new galleries uh, separating uh, all your photos and videos by day same story with months so uh, June and then May, and then it's gonna keep going. Uh, and same story with ears, which I think ears is very, very cool because it's gonna show you what I was doing, which photos and videos I took at the same period, let's say this year, last year, 2017, 16, 15, and so on. This is very nice, especially if you have an iPhone for many, from, for many, many years, this is even better. And of course, uh, we also have another really cool new addition right here in the Photos app, which is the ability to edit videos and tools, uh, sorry, videos and photos right here in the photos app and it is so much better now let me show you so if I open this photo right here for example so I have this photo right there uh, if I go ahead and tap on edit we have many new buttons and toggles right there we can auto enhance we can change the exposure uh, uh, brilliance highlights 
uh, contrast and everything like that is so good so perfect it works so so nice I just love this and we have a lot of you can do a lot of things here you can straighten it out <laughs> you can uh, flip it horizontally and then do things like that it is very very nice you have so many different tools at the top as well and as I said you can do all of this in photo and video as well so this is super super powerful powerful I'm not gonna change everything because it's gonna take a lot of time but it just got the idea find my eye which is the last feature I want to show you on this video so you can already see that the icon is different uh, you can see as well that you have the new user interf interface right here so we have all this new user interface but what I want to show you is not exactly this but the new feature that Apple uh, showcased in WWDC showing that now you can track your iPhone even if it is turned off so even if somebody steals your device and like turn turns it off or removes the SIM card or something like that you're still gonna be able to track your device your iPhone or your iPad in iOS 13 or iPad OS 13 because of this new feature that allows uh, actually your iPhone will continuously send a, like a Bluetooth beacon so a Bluetooth very very weak signal to other devices around it nearby and then those devices are gonna send the location to you via find my iPhone via find my app so we just love this new security feature It's just one of the one of the reasons why you should really update to iOS 13 it is just so so amazing so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit the like button down below also hit the comment section tell me what you think give me your suggestions your complaints what you didn't like or something and then obviously also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because there's always awesome new content coming so stay tuned and i see you in a couple days